How many of those do you have? Three. Where are the other two? In the locker. Just decided not to bring because it was too heavy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how important was this just from an emotional standpoint to break that skid and get back in the winning column? It was huge. I think just our preparation for the week was just a lot of intensity. I think it was just more so everybody playing on the same page, um, offense, defense, and special teams. And I think we came out today, a complete game. I think that, you know, at first we had our lows in that first half. Second half, we just kept, you know, battling and kept fighting. And offense got in rhythm. Defense, we got settled down and got in rhythm. And then special teams came through in the end. And that's kind of how we got the game. What was the level of relief in, in getting that interception at the end? I know you, you looked frustrated after the fumble that you guys couldn't pick up. Yeah. But I don't know. You guys was talking about it all week, so we just make sure we stayed on top. And I think that was a very um, easy, correctable thing to do. Um, and we played play light side pretty much all game. I think he's uh, – but feels held to 170-yard passing. So when you do that in the National Football League, I think that's a good day for any secondary. So – we know we got to drive the bus from the back. That's how we played, and um, we got a victory. Uh, but it was a collective unit, so. You were aware there was a lot of discussion about the defense passing the first penalties? Oh, of course. I mean, come on, man. Like, let's be honest. <laughs> It's the league. Hey, what's your point? It is what it is, you know. Um, kind of, you know, um, underhanded in a sense. But who's going to cry about it that's going to hear us, right? Uh, that's Crocodile Seal. So we got to go out there and make the best of our op- opportunities, um, regardless of, um, yeah, the backs against the wall. But we just got to continue to keep fighting. And, you know, Father give you something, you got to go out and get it. So I appreciate it. How did Telenoa Hufanga do out there, his first NFL start? Say it again? How did Telenoa Hufanga do? Oh, man, he was great. He was great. He, he was everything we asked for him and some. Um, he wasn't scared of the moment. He actually grabbed that moment by the horns, and he ran with it. And, I mean, he's just going to continue to keep proving, you know. And a, a guy like that, he only can get better. I mean, he's a rookie for crying out loud. He played like a vet today. So, um, just got to keep proving, and we will. And I'm glad he's on our team. What's the game when is jumping up and down? He has a lot of energy. You guys feed off of that? Who? Oh, oh he, I mean, listen, he, like I said, he's an energy guy, man. Like, he brings that thump. I mean, I think Troy Palomalo is, is one of his um, big brothers um, that looks on, over him a lot. And, you know, if you want to have a big brother, it's Troy Palomalo. Um, that's for sure. And he is an uh, awesome talent. And hopefully he can come within him one day. And um, that's a big mark. And that's a big feat. But he's starting off on a good foot. All right, guys. Yeah. Thanks, Josh. Appreciate Thank you. Make sure you subscribe.